Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carter Walker. I love talking about movies, music, comics, and games. And I just got out of another early screening for Transformers Rise of the Beasts, which I was very excited for. Kind of flown under my radar a little bit, kind of forgot it was coming out, but then I remembered and I got pumped for it and I really want to talk about it. So let's get right into it. So starting out with the positives, um, I think, you know, the biggest thing going into a Transformers movie is if there's a lot of awesome, great, dumb robot action. And yeah, there is. There's a lot of awesome, great, dumb robot action in this movie. And you can kind of just end the review there. That's about it. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I genuinely really love the action in this, especially the third act I thought was a lot of fun, focused in on the like goofiness, the fun side of the Transformers, and taking itself extremely seriously but also like just going so over the top in a way where you know there is no way that people are taking this seriously. I love the Transformers movies if I'm being like 100% honest. I adore 1 and 3 and Bumblebee. I really enjoy Age of Extinction. That's like my biggest guilty pleasure movie and I also think Ah, actually, I don't think I don't really like Last Night or Revenge of the Fallen. Just my personal opinion. But when these movies are good and when they like focus in and know what they're doing, they are so good. They are so much fun. And I think that's like the biggest praise I can give this movie is it's just a ton, it's just a ton of fun. It's like the Flash where it knows what it is. It's goofy. And it's got a lot of um, like fun and jokes in it. It's not as heartfelt as The Flash. Um, the emotion here really isn't as strong as they want it to be. Really not as strong as they kind of like guilt you into it being, um, if I'm being completely honest, and the characters are nowhere near as good as The Flash. But I think it's maybe a little bit more fun. I, I honestly think that this is probably the most fun Transformers movie outside of Bumblebee because the stakes, while they are super, super high with Unicron in it, it's still like a ton of fun and it just focuses in on the like one-liners they have pete davidson as mirage just giving a really great highlight performance in the film he was hilarious and just focusing on the fun of the transformers and something else i really enjoyed in this movie actually is optimus prime they kind of give him like a character arc which i i really enjoyed i haven't seen the last night or revenge of the fallen in ages so i'm not sure if they've really given optimus a character arc before i know a lot of his arcs are i don't trust humans they betrayed us too thank you one human dude you're goaded and now that i think about it that's optimus's arc in this one <sighs> yeah he does that in this one well maybe not maybe that's a spoiler but i i still enjoyed it i think it was done very well there's a very interesting element here of kind of pitting the main character against optimus prime and being at odds with him and putting another autobot in the highlight that's not bumblebee or optimus prime they put mirage in voiced by pete davidson him and anthony ramos have really good chemistry i thought a lot of pete davidson's lines over the top for sure but really freaking funny there was one that just got like one of the biggest laughs out of me that i've had in a theater in such a long time it was just so pete davidson i was dying laughing i really enjoy pete davidson when he's like not super over the top he's really great in king of staten island he is awful in fast x but i thought he was great in this one and i i really enjoyed him i thought his voiceover work was great as always peter cullen as optimus prime is so good here but yeah the action great the human stuff is actually pretty well done especially anthony ramos's character he is given like a great motivation although it is a little bit weird some choices he makes but it's really easy to care for him they give you a really easy reason to care for him with him and his brother i liked that they devoted time to even set that up that was surprising uh, although it did lose focus in the second half where it just goes into like full-on transformers less human stuff but I did enjoy it. However, the movie isn't really perfect, and so let's get right into the mixed. I think that, you know, in the mixed, a big issue was the dialogue. Sometimes the dialogue was like so on the nose with everything, or sometimes it was too corny, sometimes it's like just right, you know, that perfect like Transformers dialogue that's so awesome. And it didn't, it just felt strange sometimes. Sometimes it felt good, sometimes it didn't. And the highs of this movie are so high. Like one of my favorite scenes in a movie in such a long time is like Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal just like railing on some Decepticons, some Terracons, 
And then you just have some lows in this movie, like minutes later where it's just like a stupid joke or it cuts back to a character you don't care about. And it's like, dude, you blew it. You blew it. And I think, you know, that's one of the movie's biggest issues. It's They've kind of always had issues in a lot of blockbusters, just balancing tone and balancing dialogue. And I think that this movie doesn't do it as well as it hopes it would. Um, and another thing that kind of mixed me on here is the pacing is a little weird. It starts out with a really cool action sequence, and then it slows down a ton and crawls for a really long time. Oh, no, I, it is setting up the characters, which I really enjoyed, and kind of setting up Anthony Ramos. But, you know, when it sets up Dominique Fishback's character, she doesn't really have that much of a personality in this movie outside of smart museum history person. And it, it, that's, yeah, it's just not good. I'll talk about it in my negatives, but it just wasn't good. Um, but, and then the effects, most, like, this is probably the mostly positive. This is 99% positive. The effects were phenomenal. But yeah, that's that kind of wraps up the positive and the mixed so let me get right into the negatives, and my biggest negative here is just Dominique Fishback's character just is kind of bland. You don't really have any reason to care about her other than like she talks about her dead dad for one minute and people are mean to her at a museum, but that's about it. She isn't very charismatic, she's heroic, yeah, but you just don't care about her. Anthony Ramos's character is set up so well in the film. And you have such a great dynamic with him and his brother that you're like, why is his brother not here? Why didn't you bring along? Yeah, yeah, his brother's super sick, but it would have made for a lot better chemistry between the two of them because Anthony Ramos is, like, really trying here, you know. He's, like, having a ton of fun with the character, and he's, like, really trying. And then Dominique Fishback is just kind of like... I'm going to sing to myself for a minute. It, it just came off as weird. Like, as the movie goes on, she becomes, like, more... And more like uninterested and like phoning it in so that kind of dragged the movie down for me quite a bit because so much of the movie rests on her and Anthony Ramos because the producers and Hasbro and people at Paramount don't believe that for some reason the Transformers can carry a movie when they've done it for multiple TV series comic books uh, you know animated movies video games I think that the human characters, they really just struggle with them. You know, they got 50% of it right in this movie with Anthony and then kind of dropped the ball with Dominique. But I, I still think that overall this movie is very, very enjoyable. I had a really great time with it. I was like laughing so hard with all my buddies, just like pumping my fists whenever Optimus Primal was on screen. There's a lot to love in this movie. And I think that if you just go in knowing it's a Transformers movie, it's not going to change your mind if you hate Transformers. It's not going to change your mind if you love Transformers. You know exactly what you're getting into, but it's more along the line of the, you know, upper echelon of the Transformers movies and a lot less like Revenge of the Fallen or The Last Night. And I can really appreciate that about the movie. And I just got to say, I was, I was very entertained in the theater, like entertainment scale. If I did that, it'd be like a nine out of 10, dude. Freaking love that. Like entertainment wise, better than Venom 2. Easily. And for like my overall score, I'd probably give it like a honest like an eight out of ten, dude. I really enjoyed it. Maybe like a seven and a half to an eight because obviously it has a ton of plot issues, a ton of character issues. But when it gets into that Transformer stuff, man, it is just so enjoyable. I just can't help but smile, and I'm such a sucker for it. I I walk out of these movies, you know, smile on my face, super positive because I just love movies, and I give it a little bit too high of a score. So like cynically, it's like a seven. But if I'm like, you know, like walking out of the theater, like pumping my fists, it's like an eight, dude. I really enjoyed it. I had such a great time with this movie. I can totally see myself rewatching this movie over and over and over again, even though they do not use like the Maximals as much as I wish they would. There's a lot I would, you know, wish they would do with these movies. But if, if that's what I'm going to get, man, I'm pretty satisfied. People are just like. They're just Transformers movies, man. You just got to smile sometimes, sit back and enjoy your life. Enjoy the Transformers, dude. That's all I got to say. But like I said, guys, I, I enjoyed this movie, and I really hope you will too. So have you seen Transformers Rise of the Beasts? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, are you a fan of the Transformers franchise? What do you think about the other movies? Again, just let me know. In the meantime, I'm Carter, and as always, have a great rest of your day.